Rossi again. Will he try to turn one? But the Ducati again has the run. Here comes Rossi. Rossi at turn 20, but again he runs it slightly wide. Davizioso bounces straight back and down this start finish straight. It's all about horsepower. The Ducati will outrun Rossi's Yamaha. Look out for you know, he's going at a real pace. There's Davizioso. Rossi Smith under pressure from you know, the the Renta. The Lacey Sparker and Cal Crenslow. The Ducati just uh, had a crash at the final corner. The bike line in the middle of the track. That did not on the race. The goal is Shirley Hernandez, the Colombian that crashed out. He was having a good ride at was Hernandez, but that is at the final corner. Thankfully, he's uh, unhurt in that crash. Here is Hernandez now appealing into turn 15. Loses the front end and then has the rear grips. Rossi's taking second place that from Andrea Di so while we're looking at the replay of Johnny Hernandez, Rossi finally has made the move on Andrea Di Vizioso, but in doing so, he trails Mark Marquez by 1.6 seconds, and now we're going to see that horsepower of the Ducati GP15 is Di Vizioso going to take the place back, oh they were so close to contact that, that was really close, Di Vizioso did an amazing job of avoiding hitting the back of Rossi. I tell you what, Rossi wasn't going to let him through, Rossi knew that he was coming and he was not going to let him through and very very close to a cliff. Randy Smith still hanging in there. Those has got Yanoni right on his tail. This great dogfight for second place. All it's doing is playing into the hands of Mark Marquez. The reigning world champion stretches his advantage now to 1.9 seconds with Rossi, Davizioso, Smith and Ian Ernie all scrapping for second place. It's going to be Marquez crucial time to make the break as Ian only now moves into fourth place by Bradley Smith at the penultimate corner on lap eight. Yeah, Ian only really is charging his way through. Rossi in the second place. I think the next couple of laps will tell us if he can make any sort of impression on Marquez. He's got a bit of clear track in front of him, but it's not going to be easy. Here's Rossi, De Vizioso, his teammate, you know, he's Randy Smith, and Jorge Lorenzo. Rossi knows that he hasn't got a bit of clear track between himself and De Vizioso and Iannone on that long back straight. And the caddy horsepower is going to be so crucial. But he really shut the door on him, didn't he? He was ever breaking hard for that, I would think, De Vizioso. If he uh, thought there was going to be uh, any problems, uh, he knew they were there. Here is the replay. This is Rossi getting by. This is the moment. Here comes Davizioso. Oh, how did they not touch? A whisker away from touching the rear wheel of Martino Rossi's Yamaha. Davizioso actually did a great job of pulling that Ducati up on the brakes. But as you say, Nick, Valentino Rossi, he can see Andrea Davizioso right outside of his left hand side. He wasn't giving up that space at all. No way. Marquez, Rossi, Davizioso, Yanoni, Smith, and Lorenzo further back. Alessia Spargo. Carl Crutchlow, Daniel Petrucci, Marvin Vignan, Hiroshi Oyama, Hector Barber, Jack Miller in the points in 13 place, Eugene Lafferty and Nicky Hayne. Jorge Lorenzo finally making some headway towards this battle for second place. Lorenzo, half a second quicker on the last lap than Bradley Smith, who is in front of him. They'll be right now on board with the race leader, Mark Marquez. 1.9 seconds clear. Actually, through the first two splits now, Marquez's lead for the first time in this race, over two seconds. Yeah, the board was telling him that, wasn't it? Here is Rossi, Pinizioso. Pinizioso in turn, but coming under pressure from his teammate, Pidoni. Smith will come under pressure from Lorenzo. And Legends Marga and Cruxlow surely will fight it out, as they are at the moment for seventh place. Marquez crosses the line to complete lap nine. Rossi's second, the gap 2.249 seconds. And it's the two factory the Catties. Andrea Di Vizioso and Andrea Inoni, followed by Bradley Smith and Jorge Lorenzo to ride with Rossi through the first corner. Confirmation there, he's got that hard front tyre option, but so has Mark Marquez. We ride with Rossi. He, of course, would retain his lead in the World Championship and finish second. And you get the feeling just looking at that picture. That will be his aim, I think. He's not going to win this one unless there's problems for Mark Marquez and he's got the coverage of Cantis giving him a tough old time.
Market. Mark Marquez has started to streak away in this race. The gap now well over two seconds in front of Valentino Rossi. This does look like the battle between the three Italians. Rossi, Davizioso and Eno in like a battle for second place. There are two Yamahas, it's the Satellite Yamaha and Bradley Smith followed by the Patrick Yamaha and Jorge Lorenzo. Now I'm sure Rossi will now concentrate on securing second place and 20 points. He's already shown Davizio how determined he is to do that. Get Valentino Rossi, as you can see there on this long back straight. Finally pulling a bit of a gap on Andre Davizio, so it's Ian only in fourth. He's chasing a second success in Pelham, of course, debut. Most GP podium in Qatar last time out. Bradley Smith still holding Jorge Lorenzo at bay. Marquez getting away at the front. Marta will display so far in this race. Don't forget, there's still 11 and a half laps to go. Still a long, long way to go. Things do happen. Smith just about holding off Lorenzo. Elisa Sparrow just about holding off Crutzler. What a disappointing start for Cal Crutzler. After he looked so, so fast in practice. With this, the battle for seventh place out on track, as you say, the Cal Crutchlow, so strong all throughout the weekend, second place he was in practice, qualified on the second row in fifth, he obviously got uh, caught up in a bit of that tight first corner, on the end of he dropped all the way back to tenth, and he it found it difficult to uh, come back through the field. We'll see if he can make a move on a lace of Spargo at the end of this uh, home straight now, Bradley Smith coming under real pressure from Lorenzo. Bradley Smith fights back, but Lorenzo comes through. Smith now down in sixth place. Get fit of Bradley Smith. That would be a, a, a superb position for him after really battling with the, the factory machines in the early stages. Yeah, it would be mission accomplished for Bradley Smith. He always sets out to be the top non-factory rider. That's exactly where he is right now in sixth place. He'll have Cal Crutchlow trying to lead a chase down, but Crutchlow's over five seconds back of this battle for sixth place. If we look at Lorenzo, dive up the inside of Bradley Smith at the first corner. It's a hard move by Lorenzo, lifted up Bradley Smith a little bit going into that second corner. Here is this battle between the Lakers partner and Cal Crutchlow for seventh place. Impressive performance by the Suzuki, isn't it? I mean, he really is holding the uh, factory Honda at bay at the moment. It is when you consider the Honda that Cal Crutchlow is riding has probably got a 10 or 15 kilometer advantage down this long start straight and back straight. As you say, Crutchlow, well, he finally does use that Honda horsepower to breeze by a late Espargo. Cal Crutchlow finally up into seventh place. Marco Melandri on one of the uh, Aprilia RSGP bikes has entered the pits, obviously, with some kind of technical problem. But, uh, and Valentino Rossi still can't shake off those two factory Ducatis, the brand new GP15, again fighting for the podium here at the circuit of the Americas. It's Davizioso in third, Iannone in fourth place. Mar Marquez now, almost two and a half seconds clear of this battle for second. Rossi through turn 19, Davizioso coming under a pressure again from Andre Iannone who came from seventh on the grid. Iannone was a Running inside the top three for long periods in this race last year before we dropped back with an excessive front tire wear. Doesn't like it's going to happen again though. Ten laps to go. Marquez, Rossi, the Vizioso, Ian Oney, Lorenzo, then Bradley Smith. That's your top six. Ian Oney now. Ian Oney now putting some pressure on the Vizioso. The Vizioso fights back and hangs on to second place. Ian Oney briefly took the place from his teammate. Vizioso at the first corner, but Nick said Vizioso fighting back. Then that downhill plunge through turn two. Mark Marquez now the lead still around two and a half seconds. Valentino Rossi still looking strong in second place. Marquez and Rossi, as we know, have got a hard option front tyre. Here's Iannone having a lunge up the inside of his teammate Vizioso. Moves it a little bit wide though. Vizioso just getting the power down a little bit earlier. Takes back to third place through turn two. Classic has been circuit in the Americas there in turn one. Well, we haven't seen a great deal of Mark Marquez because he's getting away at the front all the time. But now we do ride with the rut, the world champion chasing his hat trick of victories here at the circuit of the Americas. It's him breaking as we saw. Uh, in practice when he had that rear wheel what, a foot off the ground breaking into that turn. There's a Rossi Uriyama, not doing too bad a job replacing the engine down in the 
which are currently running in 11th place. Let's get uh, Barbara behind him, that's uh, Ayama. Nicky Hayden having a good one inside the points, and it's two on the Grand Prix. Hayden up to 13th, just past Jack Miller, of course. Open Honda battle a bit further down the field. As we look again at Mark Marquez, it's through turn 18 now, Marquez. The lead's almost three seconds. Valentino Rossi and Andrea De Vizioso. They look like they might be pulling away a little bit on Andrea Iannone. Most is to go away down from the uh, Aprilia Garros at the moment. Obviously, I mean, he's the, uh, he's the boss of Aprilia Racing. He just stole us the uh, Marco Melendi. He had a huge big problem, so it's not something they could fix. So he's uh, unfortunately for him, it's just a Marquez leads the way from Rossi, De Vizioso, Iannone, Lorenzo and Smith. Lorenzo 1.4 seconds behind Andrea Iannone in fourth place. Lorenzo was three tenths of a second quicker than the Italian on that last lap. The only other riders across the line have Crutchlow and Alexis Spargo, and we have Danilo Petrucci and Patrick Vignal is in tenth place. Here's Rossi and De Vizioso and Iannone. This is the battle for second place. Just that shot in the race leader. Mark Marquez there. He is now. Mark Marquez is lead up to three seconds. Just get the feeling De Vizioso's going to have one more go at Valentino Rossi before the end of this race, don't you? Yeah, absolutely, Valentino Rossi. It looks sometimes like he's about to make a break from the two Ducatis. And they quickly reel him back in. You can see De Vizioso now through that turn 11. As close as he's been for a long time. Yes. Oh, Valentino Rossi is the top speed. Rossi Ayama and Mark Marquez, the factory Hondas, top two through the speed traps, 211 miles an hour for Rossi Ayama. Yeah, and not a factory Ducati until you uh, come down to Andrea Iannone, which is interesting enough. Here is Marquez, he's not worried about top speed. He is running away with this race. And Valentino Rossi went a little bit wide, Nick, through turn. Well, he did it look like he was on the curb a little bit. Didn't lose a place though to Andre De so It's given De so a chance to close the gap even further. He's through turn 15, right on board with Rossi. Now coming into the sequence of three right-handers. This is turn 16. Yeah, we ride with Rossi there is De so This is reminiscent of their battle two weeks ago in Qatar. This time, this is for second place. That time it was for the lead. De Vizioso closing all the time. Get a glimpse of Yanoni right at the back there. Or hey Lorenzo who will be disappointed with his run at the moment in fifth place. But really Nick, given the fact that Mark Marquez was fifth in the only round of the championship in Qatar, this fight between Rossi and the so probably is the fight for the world championship leaders, but yeah. second place said right. And I think Rossi will be delighted if it's in second place if he does that. And I think uh, De Vizioso says gonna have one more go and there is for Hey Lorenzo. Yeah, didn't make the best of starts, did he? It's been tough, Nicky Hayden. 13th place. Alvaro Baptista has got a glimpse of him there on the Aprilia. Morris Pass behind him. Just his second ever MotoGP appearance. Rossi again and intense pressure from Andrea De Vizioso. It's Andrea Inoni there in fourth place. Jorge Lorenzo trying to cut that gap in fifth. 1.2 seconds he is off that fight for second place. The Spaniard. It's all about 20 World Championship points, isn't it, this battle? 25 going to go to Mark Marquez, but uh, this remains the same. Or even if it says against the front of Rossi, Marquez will not be needing the World Championship when we arrive in Argentina but tomorrow night. Early start tomorrow morning, Nick, have we? I certainly have. Martino Rossi now hard on the brakes into turn 12. Ian only again closes up on his teammate, Andrea De Vizioso. Jorge Lorenzo still there, Bradley Smith, we've talked about what a great ride he's had so far, it's been a phenomenal performance from the 24 year old British run, here's a replay of uh, Jack Miller in the back of the 13th with uh, Nicky Hayden Miller running up the inside of the fence with the American, 33 years old now.